we are going to see how to download mysql server in your local systems please follow the clear instructions and steps to avoid future issues in your mic for with the mysql server okay let us all go to google server and type mysql the search bar mysql in the search bar uh, after searching for the mysql you are going to give uh, we are going to uh, see one upcoming link called as mysql.com please click on that link uh, after clicking on mysql.com, you are going to redirect to the mysql.com uh, web page. After going to the web page, please click on download option from the nav bar and please scroll down to the page and uh, you are going to see one option called as mysql community uh, GPL downloads. Please click on that link guys. Uh, after clicking on that uh, link, you are going to see several software download individual links. Please don't click on any individual sort download links. You, are, you need to install everything uh, through one software only. Please click on MySQL installer for Windows. Uh, in my case, uh, I, have, I have already downloaded the software. Please, I am going with the software only. But I am showing you how to download that particular software also. Please click on this uh, 306.5 MB file. Uh, please click on download. And you are going to uh, redirect to the login or uh, sign up account. Like you need to create one account for this uh, to join this uh, to creation of uh, to download the to file. But uh, if you want, if you don't want to create any account, you can select an option called as No Thanks. Just start my download. After clicking on this uh, Start Download, uh, you can also uh, the file will be automatically downloaded. Uh, in my case, the file is already downloaded, so I am going with the. Uh, downloaded file see uh, after uh, after downloading the file uh, the file will be look like uh, this file guys mysql install the community 8.4 8.0.40 version i'm clicking on this option it is getting downloaded it is it is loading all of the files and it's asking me confirmation so i'm giving i'm giving all the rights to install the particular software it is, it is going to load everything guys you should have stable internet connection to install everything from scratch Please follow each and every instruction carefully to install MySQL in your local systems. Okay, let us uh, choose server only setup. Please uh, change this option to custom mode. Please change this option to custom mode and click on next, guys. Uh, after clicking on next, you are going to uh, redirect to next option called as you need to select the so software which you want to install. Uh, you can also install uh, each and every software from uh, from the here only available products. Please expand MySQL server, guys. Please expand MySQL server using plus option, which will which has uh, already decided be, be, uh, beside the MySQL server. Please click on this MySQL server uh, 8.4 8.0.40. After clicking on this option, one green color arrow mark will be highlighted here. Please click on this button. Later on, after clicking on this button. This MySQL server 8.0.40 version has been added to the right, right side of your uh, window under products to be installed. Please click, please go on to the uh, applications tab. Under applications tab, please click on MySQL bench workbench and uh, add MySQL workbench also to be product under products to be installed page. Next, please click on MySQL shell also. Uh, repeat the same process to add the MySQL process. Uh, after clicking on MySQL shell, uh, a total three softwares will be installed uh, after not installed these three softwares will be added to the uh, to do items uh, after adding these three options to the installs installed dialog box please click on next without any delay it is asking you to uh, install everything from scratch it's asking say uh, some in some cases it will also it already show you the selected path is already exist if not uh, you can also proceed if it exists also no problem please click on next button without any uh, uh, without any delay uh, please let us all click on execute now uh, uh, it takes some process it take it takes some process to install everything to install this you need a stable internet connection guys uh, in future and in few seconds uh, in few seconds we are going to uh, the server and work pinch and shell everything is going to install in your uh, local system guys let us all wait for a few seconds or few minutes to install everything uh, server and workbench has got installed successfully it is bit it is bit taking a little time to install uh, workbench completely and it it is also how it is also should install mysql shell also uh, let us wait uh, for a few minutes to install uh, don't change your internet connection guys uh, at initial step only we need to connect to a stable internet connection if you are changing internet connection in middle you are going to face some issues some old version exist and uh, uh, we unable to download the complete version, compatible version in your laptops and all.
please wait until the download process is completed okay in my case the total three softwares are also uh, com installation completed uh, please wait until the installation complete successfully and now without any delay please click on next button uh, click on again without any changes please click on next button again uh, in this type and networking page, uh, it is also it's already having inbuilt port numbers and uh, conflict pro protocol ports and numbers. Please don't change anything. If you want to change the port number, you can change, but it is not recommended to change. Uh, if you want to change, you cannot change. But my my suggestion is don't change the port number. Uh, without any change, please click on next button. Uh, in authentication method, is suggesting you to please use strong password encryption for the authentication purpose. Uh, without any change, please click on next button. See, under account and roles button, it is asking you to enter MySQL password. Uh, uh, at, ini uh, at initial step, the uh, the username for the MySQL is uh, is uh, for all for all persons. The username will be root only. Root account password means the username for uh, inbuilt the root username will be root only. The password will be given by you. If you want, uh, please. Uh, I want. I suggest everyone to give. Uh, use a simple password or else any strong password also but make sure that you are not forgetting the password in future because uh, if you are forgetting the password in future you are you need to reinstall everything from scratch because there will be no option like uh, forgot your password like these options won't be provided for the sql if you are forgetting the password you need to uninstall everything and reinstall everything from scratch so be careful by while giving the password uh, in my case, I'm giving the password and I'm re-repeating the password for the confirmation. Uh, after confirmation, it is saying that the password stands this week, no problem. Sure, if you wanna okay, you can proceed with the next step. Or if you wanna give strong password, you can also give the strong password. But make sure that you are remembering that password or you are saving the password in somewhere else. Okay. And one more thing I want to discuss is you can also add users for uh, several multiple users for the MySQL accounts and all. Uh, in my case, I'm not adding any users. If you want to add, you can also add. No, no problem. Uh, click on next button without any delay. Okay, don't and uh, without any change, please click on next button, guys. It is asking me to. Uh, it is asking us to give. Uh, uh, it is. It is saying us uh, the SQL have grant full access to the user running the Windows service and the administration groups only. So I don't want to change anything. So please click on next. After clicking on next button, you are you are going to redirect to the configuration steps. Uh, you need here in this step, you need to click on execute button for uh, install everything, your uh, configuration files and Windows service and starting the server, applying all the security settings and everything will be installed uh, or initialized at the for the configuration files. After everything completed, please click on finish button, guys. Finish button. After clicking on finish button, you will be redirected to the product configuration. In the product configuration button, without changing anything, please click on next button. Uh, if you want to copy this lock to clipboard, you can copy or there's no issue. You can ignore it and please click on finish button at the end. After getting uh, clicking on finish button, you, would, you will be or read, uh, automatically redirecting to the command line prompt and it will automatically open the workbench, guys. Workbench. Uh, you can also close everything and let us all go to, let us all check the uh, MySQL version. Uh, I want to check. Uh, I will show you if any errors comes. I will solve the error also. No, no issues. Uh, all of you open your command prompt and type uh, the command was, which was uh, displaying in the screen. MySQL space hyphen hyphen version. Uh, if anyone is facing like this issue, like MySQL is not recognized as an internal or external command or operate, operable program or batch file. It means uh, the, the particular file path is not mentioned in the environmental variables. So we need to mention that particular thing also. Let us all open File Explorer first or uh, Windows uh, C. Let us all open C drive. In C drive, please all of you open uh, uh, files. Let us all search for the MySQL, MySQL folder. It is there here. Please click on uh, MySQL server. Uh, please open the MySQL folder and please uh, search for the MySQL server 8.0 version. Please click, uh, double click on it and open and uh, search for the bin folder and open the bin folder. Uh, under the search address bar, please copy the path. I'm repeating one more time. Under, under the address bar, please copy this path up to bin. Okay, up to bin path. Bin folder, you need to copy the path. After copying the path, you can also open environmental variables. Uh, please click on it and open environmental variables and click, please open environmental variables option, guys. After clicking, after the in opening the environmental variables, 
uh, under system paths or under system variables I'm, I'm repeating one more time under system variables please search for the path variable guys path variable under the path variable please click on edit and please uh, click on new option please paste the option please place the path which was selected by you in the previous step and click on ok and please click on ok and please click on ok let us all close everything and run the command again from the command line prompt prompt again we'll see the output uh, my skill hyphen hyphen version see guys okay if you are facing same issue after solving after adding every path to the environmental variables uh, please restart your command prompt uh, it will definitely will give you the path version if you are face uh, if you are getting a path correctly like uh, version 8.0.40 for windows 64 on windows it is successfully installed success it is successfully installed like mysql server with workbench and shell is com completely installed successfully without any errors uh, if you want to try com uh, through command prompt you can try like mysql root uh, minus u uh, something username will be there password we'll see guys i'm typing the command wrong i think so minus u root minus p see uh, after uh, my giving a command called as mysql uh, minus u stands for uh, username username is root and you're asking uh, minus p it is asking you to enter password in my case i'm entering the password after entering the password if that uh, while authentication the password which was given you while installing the process is that both passwords are same means you will be redirected to the command mysql command line client if not you need to Mm, re uninstall everything and reinstall everything from scratch uh, if you want to try mysql uh, command client client separately you can also you can also access using that let me close everything and we'll i will show you how to access everything guys uh, after after clearing everything uh, please type command line client or my command line client see mysql command line client will be visible in the search bar please open this you will be automatically redirecting to the enter password page uh, in the command line client please type your password if you are typing a wrong password it, uh, that's this command line client will automatically close this guys uh, let, let me try some commands uh, show databases see it, uh, in build we are having four databases uh, so in build we are having four databases and one thing i want to let you show one demo uh, so for every command we need to uh, give a sem semicolon at the end and we are letting know we are we are letting the compiler to know this is the end of my statement so execute the command if you are forgetting to give the semicolon it is automatically redirecting to the next line some people will think I have given wrong command so i need to enter again and again no you forgotten uh, like uh, you forgot a semicolon here so you need to give semicolon in the next space it automatically fetches the semicolon now at all the databases or all are it automatically fetches the watch which command you have given it will process the request and it will uh, gives you the response uh, for one only for one command we no, we no need to give any semicolon i will show you the command also to use any database or to to connect any database we need to use use keyword we need to use use keyword while using use keyword you need to specify which uh, database you need you want to connect so I want to connect SYS. So I want to give me SYS without using semicolon. Also, it did automatically connect you to the system, uh, the system database. Is if not, you can also use semicolon also. For only this command, use space database name means use space database name. This commands with what what does what does this command do? This do uh, it will automatically connect us to the specific database. In this way, we can install everything from scratch, guys. Uh, we can install everything. Uh, let us all check the workbench also uh, for your purpose. Uh, let us all check the workbench also. Uh, it will automatically will open. After opening the workbench, I recommend all of you to, uh, you need to, you will find some connections here. After clicking on connections, you will be redirected to the password page. You need to enter the same password which was given by you during installation process. Uh, after giving, clicking on, before clicking on OK, you can also save your password. Well, why you are saving password? Every time by clicking on this option, we'll be asked to enter your password. So to avoid all these things, you are saving the password in cloud. So it will automatically, automatically it will authenticate you and it will automatically uh, 
redirect you to the workbench. To avoid these things, I'm clicking, I'm saving my password and clicking on OK. It will automatically redirect you to the workbench process and UI. And everything you can process from here also. Uh, to show you, I will show, show databases. Uh, semicolon. Uh, to run this command, you need to select this command and click, click on this option. Uh, after clicking on this option, you will be uh, seen all the responses will be shown below. In this way, we can run everything, guys. We can run command line client as well as we can run uh, uh, workbench also. So, so I recommend every, everyone to do not skip this video and follow each and every step clearly to install MySQL server near local systems without any uh, issues to, and to avoid future issues also. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share and subscribe, guys.